Those are the most toys coming at you. It's 2019, time to reboot some of my characters that are sitting on my shelf. And today we have Nemesis Prime. So, of course, you can buy instructions for this guy if you do wish. He will be called MP05 on our website. And you can check there anytime. Click the link below to bwtmtbearcorks.com. But without further ado, this is Nemesis Prime. Rolls very nicely. New version comes with this. Huge, beautiful sword and clone rifle of um, Optimus's um, not fusion cannon, of his particle cannon, fusion cannon. Is it a fusion cannon? I can't remember what they call it, but his uh, his beautiful rifle. So you can see here, very nice homage with the red windows. This is the Decepticon logo here. You can get your logos. People ask all the time. You can get your logos um, from, I think, Toy Hacks or I think it's uh, Repo Labels. I don't know. It might be the same company now. I'm not sure. Um, and you can get faction stickers, I'm sure. And you can probably get all kinds of bootleg faction stickers on eBay and other sites as well if you don't want official stuff. Um, but they're usually cheap. I usually buy a large sticker sheet, which lasts me years. So... I'm not sure they still have those, but they were cool when you could buy the full faction sheet, different sizes. Anyway, enough of that. This is Nemesis Prime, a big, mean, black truck. So without further ado, let's get to transformation and As check always, out As always, try to keep mode. my big gorilla hands out of the way. This guy's a little bigger, so we'll hopefully get them all in frame here. Um, transformation, of course, is very similar to OPO5. It does have some upgrades that OPO5 does not have, so um, they're just minor, though. You may not notice them. So first thing you want to do is go back here to the back of the cab and flip your feet around to the direction that they will become feet. And that is very tight, but it will work very well. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Um, I then usually crack open the sides, which will become the arms, of course, like most Optimus Primes or Nemesis Primes. So you just want to go here and flip out the sides of the arms like this. And then like that. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to flip out what will become our arms and bring it out. Okay, you can then if you want, you can also go back here and pull out your Nemesis Prime head, turn it around, bring it forward and seat it in here. So now we have Optimus half truck mode or Nemesis half truck mode. We get here, we are going to want to get to the back here and I usually rotate this guy about 45 degrees down. So ratchet click his legs about 45 degrees till you can see the cod piece starting to come out here. That didn't sound too good. Anyway, from there, you want to just rotate this whole body part around to get forward, like so. And then you want to complete the legs. And I do that just to clear, and I'll show you in a second. You want to go back here to now what were the front. And you want to just bring that up. Once you do that, the legs will fully release. So you can ratchet them straight positioning. And then you want to go back here. And you want to move your heel spurs into position you like. And that will get your standing Optimus. Or Nemesis, I keep calling him Optimus, but you know. Get a nice position that you like here. And we're about ready to go. Can you see him all there? I'm going to back him up a little bit for you guys. There we go. So we're going to finish him off by taking these um, mirrors, pushing them down and in. Okay, I'm going to take his cod piece, which is sticking out here, and make now he's skirting. I'm going to push now these side pieces in ever so slightly like that to give him a waist. Pull your arms out, move your hands to the position you like, and then you're going to see here you're going to fold the rims, or not the rims, sorry, the fenders kind of in. And there you go. And there, you have Nemesis Prime. Big, bad Nemesis Prime. Very sturdy, solid figure. Articulation, of course, we've got ball joints in the head, ratchets in the shoulders, balls on the balls, larger big uh, ball joints in the elbows. We've got um, 
movable fingers on this version, as well as small ball joints in the wrist to give the wrist position you want. Ball joints in the feet, ratchet joints in the knees, ratchet joints in the hip, and you can move the skirts in and out for positioning. So of course we've got his fusion cannon. Is it a fusion cannon? Um, and then we've got this huge beautiful sword, as I said before. That we can put him in. Put in his hand. You know, it's pretty heavy, but you can get a nice pose if you like. I like to just rest it on his shoulder and go, hey, it's been a long day of chopping up Autobots. And you can, of course, put on his gun. It has a little clip here that can go on any of the fingers. So, there he is. There's a Nemesis Prime NP05 on our catalog. Check him out if you want to build him too. I think he's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? Let's bring in Optimus just as a comparison, as I always like to do. It always looks better in black, though. I don't know why. It's just so slick. Anyway, so there's Optimus, our, our um, OP05 model. Okay, so you can see here, there's Optimus and Nemesis Prime. They look quite nice together on my shelf. If you're interested, again, as I said in the instructions, oh, and I forgot, oh, he does have, if you do pop open his chest, like Optimus, he does have an evil matrix inside. So you just pop open his chest, and he's got an evil gold matrix inside there, okay? Which can come out, of course, and he can hold in his hand if he wants. Whoops, what was that? So there he is, there's Nemesis Prime, and o so NPO5 and OPO5. Hope you enjoyed this, happy building everyone, we'll talk to you soon, take care.